All right, guys, so I'm back here with the D8 uh, Bluetooth by Xtool. And what I want to do in this video is just go ahead and show you some vehicle specific special functions that you only see when you go inside of the, the modules of the vehicle. So, and, 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 and it's sort of going to be a two part video here where I'm going to do a, um, a, a, I'm going to do my older, my oldest vehicle, which is a 2007 Colorado. And I'm also do my uh, latest vehicle, which is a 2021 CRV. And, um, well, you, it'll get a little, it's going to be interesting in both cases, but it's going to be a little, a in, little more interesting with the CRV because it's just new and going to have more, um, special functions. So let's just go ahead and automatic scan. I'm only going to automatic scan this. So I'm not going to automatic scan on the CRV. I just thought this was cool to show, um, just how few modules this truck has and there are no codes. And this truck is a 2007 has about 141,000 miles on it and it runs absolutely perfect. So, um, yeah, it, it 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 says it has no ABS module. I guess because it's I guess oh I don't have a switch on. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't have the switch on. Never mind. It, well, it shouldn't have a code in the radio because I don't even have the radio in the vehicle. It should just um. So anyway, that was my fault. But anyway, you'll see. All right, so I'm gonna just back out and do this again since I. Let me do automatic scan since I want to start this over. There we go. This is what it should look like. I just didn't have the key on. So anyway, um, the uh, again, getting back to the topic here. Um, most people look at the special function menu that's in the main menu in the beginning of the software of the tool. But within each module, there's a special functions button. And it might be... Um, you know, manufacture and basically there's manufacturer specific functions that are built into this tool that you can use for diagnosis, for example, and it works absolutely great. So let's go ahead and just jump into um, the uh, 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 power, the power uh, train system, I guess it's called a power system here. Now, if you see here, it has a special function button once we get inside of that module. Now, if you go into the special function button, now you look at this. This is, uh, for example, cylinder balance, injector balance. I think that's part of the special function menu, but there's other type of um, uh, special functions here. And again, this is an older vehicle, so it's quite limited. So again, that's why I'm doing this in a two-step way, because I want to kind of show you an extreme case of an older car and a much newer vehicle. So if you click these and it's going to them, like for example, if you want to go into say uh, fuel injector balance test, they might tell me to cut the car on. See this here says ensure connect fuel pressure gauge to each fuel line. Um, well, if you want to actually check the pressure, you can actually do that. But in the case of just, um, um, you can say knock an injector in or out and you can check, um, sort of see if you're having any issues with that um, car. I mean, with that injector. And you can also do it with the uh, power balance system. Now, the TCA system, let me turn this, I'm going to crank it up here. Uh, we're going to the TAC system. Uh, this is a pretty cool feature here, but you can go to engine control. And if you look at my RPMs, I can... Um, uh, let me just press on on the brake just to be on the safe side here. You can actually turn, you can actually um, sit in your passenger seat and don't even have to put your foot on the pedal. And you can manipulate your RPM. So as you can see right here on my gauge, it just went to a thousand because it's set to a thousand. But if I go ahead and go to say 1500, as you can see that um, it's just ramping right on up to 1500, just like that. So if you were, say, doing an engine flush or if you was just wanted to diagnose a problem, but you wanted to stand on the outside of the car so it can run under certain RPM so you could hear something, you could just use the scan tool to set it, say, at 1,500, 2,000 RPMs or whatever, the max that it'll allow, and it'll go to that. So then we can just go ahead and back out of here. And then, um, so anyway, that is, um, you know, the special functions for 
the for the powertrain in this truck so now if you go to say the abs module let's see what do we have here because each one of these modules i'm not going to go through them all like this one doesn't have any um special functions in this menu let's try um this the body control module special functions here and you can program key fobs you can set up a sdm serial number whatever that is so as you can see that this scan tool has it laid out quite well when you go into the module you're likely going to see a special function it's not just showing you the special functions that's in the main menu of the scan tool let me go to the main menu it's not only going to show you uh it does hit yes here back out and it's hit okay it's not going to just show you see this special function menu here it's not just going to show you what's in this menu here it's also going to show you what special functions are sort of built into the um, module from the manufacturer for example so anyway this is a 2006 uh colorado here uh what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and hop over to my 2021 um crv and then i'll show you that one and it's going to get a little bit more interesting because it's a newer car and it's going to have many more um special functions all right so we're here in the 2020 21 uh crv and um again this is just a compare and contrast to show you an older car to a much newer car to show you just the power of the scan tool and what you are able to do with it 16 pin usa and 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 like i said system selection this thing is awesome so for example let's go into the engine control module and, and um give it a second here all right we go into special functions here as you can see there's many more uh the examples here and many of them are quite different like for example but i will say this disclaimer do not go touching around in some of these menus uh and go too far because you might get yourself in trouble and i'm gonna show you what i mean by that you see where it says ecm pcm replace if you click it it says unless you are replacing the ecm do not execute this function so if you go further into this function you're not going to be able to back out it's going to make you either you're going to have to tow this thing to a dealership or you're going to have to um have the troubleshooting skills to trick this thing and into letting it know that you put a new pcm in it before it would allow you probably to drive the vehicle that would be my guess so we're going to go ahead and hit cancel here so there's many other things you can do right vans um uh, crank pattern throttle learn there's so many things you can do here um battery consumption history um for example, if you was trying to say uh, uh, you could look at two before latest, three before latest, whatever that means. If you say diagnosing a um, uh, a, a, a um, parasitic draw, for example, you might can use this menu here to help you out. Release shipping mode. Uh, I think there's a transport mode on in the main special function menu when they're shipping a car. They can put it sort of, my guess would be sort of in a hibernation mode type. And um, when you get to receive the vehicle, say at the dealership or whatever, you can release the shipping mode on the car. Um, coolant air bleeding. One thing I found that is cool, where you see right here says idle, start, stop, counter, clear. Now, this is something I found interesting. If you click that and go into it, I learned something here is that if you got more than 275,000 but less than 430,000 uh, events in your start stop cycle, you can you, you might likely want to uh, change the um, relay. But if it's more than 430,000 events, you want to start you want to replace the starter and the relay. So basically, if you're having problems with a start stop system, you can use this counter here to probably not necessarily diagnose them. Say, hey, this exceeds a specification and it's best to go ahead and, and, and perform this maintenance, basically. So it looks like to me that a starter and a and a uh, starter cutoff relay may be somewhat of a maintenance item for this vehicle. So let's go ahead and cancel. So. And likewise, let's back up. We go to different uh, systems here, like, for example, the TCM. In this case, you're going to see 
uh, a, a, a nice list of special functions you can do. So if we go to special functions here. You're going to have a normal start check, CVT fluid pressure, ECM reset. It's, it can be a lot of things. Probably if you put a new TCM control module in here some kind of way, probably you'd have to do that ECM reset I would be my guess. Now, here's an interesting one here. If you go to ABS, again, I'm not going to go through all of these, but pretty much most of these are going to have their own special functions menu within this, you know, as a sub menu within this um, main menu. So if you go to ABS, now if you go to special functions, now watch this. Maintenance of, okay, for example, all sensors, we can kind of get what that might be. Um, brake, uh, maintenance mode for brake pad, we get that. You may have to put it in maintenance mode to replace the rear brakes, or maybe in the front brakes, who knows. But the deflation warning system, let's go into here. Now, for those that don't know, this CRV, mainly, I because I actually talked to a coworker at work, they have an HRV. These cars do not have a, have a full-on T, uh, TPMS system, meaning that you don't have, like, for example, nowhere in this car in the menu, anywhere can you find tire pressure. It does something based off the rotation of your tire, and then it will alert you if it's low, but it'll never tell you the pressure. In fact, this car got all the way down to 22 pounds on all four tires, and the warning light did not come on. It's interesting. But, what you could do if you go in here, it's see, I'm gonna show you why. Cause you think it says you can change. Let's go back. I just want to show you something. I forgot to say something. It said this function used to write the tire pressure stress. So as you would think, you can go in and write, say, oh, I want to alert me when it get down to 25 psi. But no, that's not the case. So you learn something with the scan tool, and you're also able to mitigate problems with the scan tool like this. So we're gonna hit yes because we want to change the wheel size. Basically, you come in here, you can you will have to change the wheel size because again, it's based on a ro the, the rotation of the tire. I'm not sure if it's how fast it is or if it's um, a, a, like in terms of rotation of a of um, for example, if it's one tire seemed to be spinning less fast than the other tire, I guess something like that. I'm not entirely for sure. So you click your tire size. I'm going to just rewrite the same tire size that's already in the car, which is 18 inches. And you pick the type of tire. This says mud and snow, but I'm pretty sure that means all weather tire because that was the default anyway when, when I checked the car. You can put a summer tire and a non-OEM. I'm not sure what non-OEM means, because, but I assume it means um, just not an all weather or an all summer tire. I'm assuming some something else so if you hit mud and snow tire basically it writes that to the module as it's writing now it says turn off ignition switch and then turn on ignition switch and then pretty much that done test complete check the values below 18 inches mud and snow there you have it just as simple you can write into your abs module the size of tire for a most it's seemingly most new Honda vehicles. I, I will say the disclaimer to, to what I just said is that I know for a fact on the, on the CRV, and I have a co worker that has an HRV, which is around a 2021 22 model, just like the one I have here. There's no TPMS system on it, it has like a, 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 a some sort of um, rotation tire rotational system that if it doesn't rotate correctly, it will alert you that the tire pressure is low, and again all four tires on this car because you got a little coal here in north carolina got all the way down at 22 pounds and it did not alert us so there you have that anyway um there you have it special function menu uh specific to vehicles again this scan tool is powerful i highly recommend the uh da especially the da bluetooth because you're able to get out of the car and diagnose things while still being able to control bi-directional controls and these special functions for examples please check the pinned comment for resources you guys take care and i definitely will see y'all again soon with another great video